quarter tones, 24 tone equal temperament, microtonal music. These are some phrases you might have heard floating about online or in academic circles, or perhaps you've heard some music or came across a score and realized that you have no idea how the music worked, or even how to read the accidentals. I personally discovered this realm of music through a classical composer from the mid-20th century, a Russo-French avant-gardist named Ivan Vishnogradsky. Through a great deal of digging through old archives and contacting libraries all across the United States and Europe, I have amassed a moderate collection of works and microtones, theories, manuals, and essays. I have studied these books through and done some of my own research, and with this collection of video essays, I hope to shed some light on the theory behind quarter tone music, as well as provide some tools for you to possibly explore microtones yourself even if you do not have an instrument normally built for producing them. But before we get into that, I'm certain you have several questions, and I hope I can answer them here. First of all, who are you? My name is Evan Bennett. I am an amateur composer and theory student, and if you've noticed from looking at other videos on this channel, I have a large interest in expressionism, mysticism, modernism, and the avant-garde. I've been writing and studying music rigorously for about a decade now, and I've also been teaching guitar, piano, saxophone, and music theory for around three years at a private school. I'm not a professional theorist, nor do I have any formal accreditation for teaching in a university yet, so please feel free to disregard what I will be discussing here if you do not feel I'm qualified for the job. Okay, well, what are quarter tones? A quarter tone, simply put, is an interval that is one quarter that of a whole step, say from C to D. These are intervals that are impossible to perform on traditional piano, and many instruments currently made in the Western world are not equipped to handle them normally. Another way of thinking about them is as notes in between the keys of a piano, like a third set of gray keys that sit inside the normal black-white dichotomy that we currently have. There's far more to quarter tones than this, but the specific aspects of it will be covered in future videos. What will be discussed in this series First will be a primer video, episode 1, which will reintroduce in many aspects of traditional harmony that would be good to review before we try to break the system into smaller pieces. So, enharmonics, intervals, accidentals, scales, harmonic motion, chords, circles, pitch classifications, key signatures, and many other things related to these subjects will be discussed, both in a 12-tone and a 24-tone context. I will start with basic theory and harmony, and slowly we'll begin to tack on microtonal theory to the old western classical system, building up until eventually we can experiment in 24-tone atonality. What should I know about before watching this? A great deal of semi-introductory music theory will be covered in episode 1, but I feel that a lot of this will go over the listener's head unless they are already well-versed in classical theory, at least from a performer perspective. I'd recommend being able to read music fluently, understanding key signatures, knowing some about intervals. Basically, you should have a first year music theory understanding, at the very least, to potentially benefit from this series. Why should I care about quarter tones? This, of course, is a subjective question with a subjective answer, but if I were to make an argument for the large scale implementation of quarter tones into our music, I would start by saying that the system we use now as beautiful as it can be, only exists at a tiny fraction of the potential that music can have. We've entrenched our culture and history in 12-tone equal temperament, and listening back, you can get the impression that the limits of expression in our music is innumerable. But after studying quarter-tone music, I see our music as beautiful, but also simple. We are like those naive people of the 60s, color televisions first coming out and reacting in shock and awe at the picture quality, having no idea that 4K television and virtual reality would be just around the corner. I'll not deny that quarter tone theory is daunting and markedly more complex in nature than our current system, but I believe that if we train people more from a younger age how it works early on, there is no reason that they couldn't learn how to be proficient in it. I do not intend for this to be a long video, but merely as an introduction to a much larger series. But if I've missed anything in here, please ask me in the comment section and I'll either reply there or respond to the questions in future videos. I wish you luck and hope that these videos will be fruitful for you.
This is Evan Bennett, and I will see you next time.